What's up guys, Justin here with the SketchUpEssentials.com back with another SketchUp quick tutorial for you. So in today's video, I'm going to talk about how to use the drape tool to drape shapes along curved faces in SketchUp. Before we get started, today's video is brought to you by the SketchUp Essentials course. The SketchUp Essentials course is a course I created to give a true start to finish step-by-step -step training in SketchUp. So it'll take you all the way from getting started with the various tools, all the way through more complex things like modeling for interior design, layout, as well as an intro to photorealistic rendering. So if that's something you're interested in, you want to take your SketchUp modeling to the next level, make sure you check that out at thesketchupessentials.com slash course. Now let's go ahead and just jump into it. All right, so this is something you can use to take shapes, like let's say, for example, I have this piece of text and bend it along curved faces, but not in the sense that you would bend it with Flowify as much as you can take the geometry and drape it straight up and down across this face. And so the way it works is fairly simple. First of all, you need to make sure that you have your shape that you're going to drape as well as the shape that you're going to drape it on. And basically these need to be lined up along the blue axis for this to work because the way the drape tool in sandbox tools works, um, it drapes things straight up and down based on that blue axis. And so if you don't see sandbox tools, right click up in your menu area and you're going to check the box for sandbox. And if you can't find it there, you may need to go into your extension manager and make sure that sandbox tools is enabled. So once you bring that up, this is actually fairly simple. What you're gonna do is you're gonna take your shape that you wanna drape across this edge and you're gonna move it until it's straight up and down from where you would like to drape it along. So for example, if I was to take my SketchUp word and we'll go ahead and scale this down a little bit because you do get some distortion kind of on the edges. But what we're gonna do is we're just gonna find the point over which you would like to drape this. So I'm gonna move this up and down just a bit more or along the green axis a bit more until I feel like I'm kind of over the center of it. And then we're gonna take the geometry and we're gonna drape it. And the way that that's gonna work is first of all, you're gonna take your text and you're gonna right click on it, you're gonna explode it. So it's a series of individual faces in here. And you can see how each one of these is selected as a face. Well now, if I click on this button for drape, then I click on the shape down below, you can see how this drapes that along this face creating its own geometry. And a couple things you might know is, for example, first of all, what this is supposed to do is this is supposed to drape this along here so that these are actually filled in. So you could use like a uh, color or something like that. You could apply a material to each one of these because they'd be their own individual faces. You can see how some of these come in a little funky. Usually what I like to do is turn on hidden geometry just so I can kind of see where the individual faces are that make up this curved face. And I'll just go in and I'll just heal those really quick. And usually this is pretty easy. And sometimes on a shape like this one, you may have to do a little bit more cleanup. Um, but I can just come in here and I can just erase out these extra edges that this created. And then I can just trace over top of this because these are all on this one coplanar face here. That's pretty easy to fix. But what that allows me to do is that allows me to come in here and just heal all of these faces so that they're their own faces. So like I said, if you do things this way, you will have to do a little bit of cleanup, but usually it works pretty good. Um, I haven't come across a situation where I just couldn't clean something up. It just takes a little bit of creativity in order to do that. And so you could take this and you could bend things like text. You could also, if you wanted to, let's say I was to take this circle and I was to create a face from that and I was to move that straight up and down and I'm gonna go ahead and move my text out of the way. But let's say for example, I wanted to add an edge around this. Well, I could do the same thing where I just move that straight up and down and then I use the drape tool in order to drape that around this edge. So you could also come in here if you wanted to create a little bit more complex shapes, you could also do that. So you'd have to find the center here. And what I could do is I could take this and use the rotate tool in copy mode to make a couple different copies on it. And then I could erase out my extra geometry. I could just select all of this and I could drape that along my face as well. 
So maybe what we do is we'd erase these edges out. And we could drape that. And you can see how these all come in here as individual faces. So you can paint them. You could use joint push pull on them to give them some thickness if you wanted to. You could really do whatever you wanted to now that you have these in here as their own geometry. Um, leave a comment below. Let me know what you thought. Is this something you've used? Do you have a different way that you bend stuff along faces? I just love having that SketchUp conversation with you guys. If you like this video, please remember to click that like button down below. If you're new around here, remember to click that subscribe button for new SketchUp content every week. If you like what I'm doing in this channel, please consider supporting me on Patreon. Every little bit helps, even if it's only a dollar a month. So make sure you check out that link in the notes down below. But in any case, thank you so much for taking the time to watch this. I really appreciate it, and I will catch you in the next video. Thanks, guys.